Virgos, welcome to your love reading for today, August 14th to August 21st for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For those who've been with me for a while and for my newbies, hello. Um, I don't do personal readings. I do, however, do a meditative session before I go ahead and get into the reading. We will be talking about that, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading itself. If you have any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Okay? Okay. Virgos, there's some funky energy around you. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, Virgos. There's some funky, funky energy. Um, oh, <laughs> feeding time. Virgos, so when I when I meditate on energies, it's energy that's going on in and around you. So keep that in mind that whatever I'm about to say can pertain to you directly or someone that you're connected to energetically or someone who's in your energy field, okay? Oh, focus. Okay, there we go. So Virgos, I was picking up an energy of, of really being guided very strongly, like very, very strong um, intuitive guidance and being pulled, compelled to go wherever you're guided to go. Really, really strong, stronger than, than usual for you. And again, could be someone you're connected to. Um, however, there's murkiness around it, which is really fascinating to me. And I don't know, it's almost like jamming the signal. Like that's kind of how it feels. It almost feels like your signal is getting jammed with that. Like you're feeling so strongly, you're supposed to be doing something, being somewhere, um, helping others is also coming to the forefront with that. Very indicative of the energy that we're in for the full moon in Aquarius. Whatever it is that you're trying to figure out, it seems like you're being pulled out there away. Like you're not even in the room with the people that you usually hang out with, or it's like you're not even in the room with uh, your usual stuff here, okay? I feel like some of you are even cutting people out of your life or moving away from people to follow whatever this is, but it's like you don't have all the pieces and it feels murky. I gotta be honest, it feels really murky. I would just be mindful, Virgos, because that is very unusual to have such a strong guided pull to do something, to go somewhere, to be somewhere else, to be doing something else, to be expanding on whatever it is you already do and really kind of like ushering in a new way of doing things that's bigger, grander for others, right? Like, you know, like, let's say, like, how do I say this? Like, not like not anymore, like small time stuff, like big time stuff. Like, that's what you're being guided to do. But it's like you're not really sure on on all the pieces of it. You don't have full clarity, Virgo. You don't. And I hate to say this because I just I've just got to be honest with what I get. It almost feels like your signals jammed, like your signals jammed. And it's almost like that's why spirit is getting stronger and stronger with pulling you and trying to talk to you because something's messing up your signal. OK, I feel that really strongly, not for all of you, of course, but for some of you, your signals getting jammed. And I want you to pay attention to that. Because Virgos, you know, you could just have jealous people in your midst. For those who, who you know, who have had experience with magic and whatnot, that could also be a part of it where someone is like intentionally trying to mucky up your vision here. Um, either way, Virgo, your signal's a little jammed. It's a little jammed. So be mindful with what intuitive hits you're getting or what you feel compelled to do, what you feel guided to do. Try to really ground yourself, cleanse yourself, cleanse your energy. Um, take some spiritual baths if need be, use some sage if need be, get some your crystals on, whatever you got to do to clear up this muckiness. Because for some of you, it is negative energy. Some of you, it's negative energy that you are being bombarded with by people around you, which I think is also why you're feeling so compelled to pull away from people. Follow that. Definitely follow that. I feel like being around people right now is just going to be harder for you. It's going to be harder to, to get clear on whatever it is you're being guided to do. Um yeah, some of you, it's the people that you're actually around that are actually bombarding you with this murky energy that's kind of fucking with your signal here, okay? Yeah, whatever it is, Virgo, just you got to clear that up. You really got to clear that up. Um, I also have this energy, Virgo, where while you're being pulled to go out there away from the room, <laughs> from the room that your, your world usually exists in, I feel like there's something else you're not seeing about what you're being pulled away from okay in regards to uh romance and like intense uh feelings of love here like i said some of y'all got some haters you're pulling away from pull away but i also feel like because your signal's a little jammed virgo you're not really seeing something or someone where there's a lot of love or someone's trying to give you love or someone's trying to send you love it's like you're not even aware because your signal's jammed and because you're getting so 
pulled to go that way. I'm just making you aware that there is some kind of loving energy that you're not aware of. You're like, like you can't see it. It's like your, your focus is there practically all the way over there. The room's over there. It's like you're not even looking at it. You're not looking at it, but at the same time, your signal's jammed. So there's confusion a little bit and a little bit of murkiness. But all you know is that I just can't be in the room. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, all I know is I can't be over there with those people. I got to be over here. I feel pulled here. I have to go here. It's like you're putting so much focus on that. And I don't think that's wrong. I'm just saying be mindful of the murkiness. Be mindful. Be, be mindful of that, okay? Um, Virgos, I also... I'm also getting something about scribe. Oh, that's about, oh, okay. I'm also getting something about scribe. Uh, you could be writing a lot. You could be feeling compelled to write. Something about like written, something about written or writing recorded. Scribes record, yeah. Something about recorded is very, yeah. Virgo, something about recorded that you need to pay attention to or writing that you need to pay attention to or put energy into, okay? Some of you are going through some major spiritual expansions. Um, definitely try to write down and record whatever it is that's going on with you regarding your spiritual expansion. I feel like it's going to come in handy later. Or it could just help you to like track your growth even. Yeah, it could even just help you track your growth. All right, Virgos. Let's go ahead and get into this reading, though. Let's get into this reading. Any messages for my Virgos? Any messages for my Virgos regarding love from now? To August 21st. Any messages from a Virgos regarding love from now into August 21st? Any messages from my Virgos regarding love from now into August 21st? One more. All right, that feels good. All right, Virgos, let's see where you're at. Let's see where you're at. Oh, yeah, there's that Seven of Cups, man. So we have Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also, Aquarian energy, excuse me, could also be Gemini or Libra. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, yeah, damn, and then we get the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups here, uh, Scorpionic energy, we got two sevens right out the gate. Yeah, so it's really interesting, Virgo, it's like, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with, it's a King of Swords energy, but like I said, we're in Aquarius energy from the full moon, and I feel like it is kind of affecting you here. This King of Swords and Eight of Wands energy, I feel like is a whole lot of downloads actually for some of you. Also communication. Virgo, it's like you think you're clear, but you're not fully clear because we're cra it's almost like we're crashing into a Seven of Cups energy. It almost feels like a wall of murky energy with that Seven of Cups. Because if we take this out of the equation, if we just take that out of the equation with the, oh, focus, there we go. With the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, this is forward movement on your path. Evaluating where you are, want, again, wanting to go bigger. Something about wanting to go bigger, expand. No more small time. No more small time. No more small time. Some of you are actually saying that. No more small time. Uh, and really doing it in a very heavy king energy to have as much clarity as possible. Strategy. To have a plan, a plan. Some of you could be actually be, be developing a business plan, like actually writing a business plan here. But then boom. We hit into the seven of cups, that confusion, that murky. It's like you're going and then boom, something's not right. Yeah, boom, something's not right. Something's not right. Virgo, just be mindful that you're not falling into shadowy Virgo energy. And I talked about this in my full moon video because um, we are moving in from Leo to Virgo. We are just as a collective. We are. Um, and sometimes, you know, with every sign, there's pros and cons. And so Virgo energy is great for getting shit done. It's great for getting shit done, the nitty gritty, getting ready to set stuff up, just handling things in a very detailed way. Anything that requires detail, being detail oriented, right? Really putting in the work. However, if we get shadowy in that energy or we don't use the energy correctly, we can start to doubt ourselves or become a little bit of that, you know, stereotypical perfectionist energy, of like, it's 98% there. I'm not happy with that 2%. I'm not happy with that 2%. And it can put us in a place of stagnation and overthinking and confusion. So just be mindful that that's not the murkiness you're running into, of falling into that shadowy Virgo energy. Others, you are just evaluating your options. You are, but I, I feel heavy murky, guys. I do. I feel heavy, heavy murkiness. Heavy murkiness. Be mindful, guys. If you have anyone who's jealous of you, who's got some hate on you, um... 
Yeah, definitely a few of you that's the case where someone's bombarding you with negative energy and it's 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 again jamming your signal. Jamming your signal. Any messages for Virgos? Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love. Ooh, I like seeing that. Any messages for Virgos regarding love from now until August 21st? We've got three other cards out here. Okay. So the three other cards we've got, Virgo, Tower in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, could also be Aries because this is Mars Influence with the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, and Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. This tower, though, mm, Virgo, I'm not liking this tower. Why does this feel so crappy? Um, I usually love tower moments, guys. I usually love tower moments, but this tower moment doesn't feel good. Whatever this tower moment is, for some of you, it's a past tower moment. We all work for energy differently, right? Some of you, it hasn't happened yet. For some, it's been avoided. Okay, that's what it is. For some, this tower has been avoided, which is why it's in reverse. And others, it's already happened, which means you've already been through this murky energy of trying to go bigger, grander. So keep that in mind. Whatever this tower is, though, once it falls, oh. So it feels pretty damn good, okay? Feels pretty damn good to the Two of Pentacles to the Ten. The Two of Pentacles is weighing at your options, right? And also making a choice. Making a choice. Those ships are right there. Your ships are right there to get to the Ten, to get to that ultimate happiness, that ultimate ultimate fulfillment, okay? For some of you, it is involving your family. I'm getting strong family. For some of you, it is about family happiness. Others, it's the collective happiness because some of you are being guided to do bigger grander work for the collective collective specifically but it it feels really 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 good virgo you're going to be very very happy by the end of this but that tower man whatever that tower is it does not feel good it feels like a really rough tower moment overall energy we've got the full aries energy could also be aquarius because this is a uranus card taking that risk taking that leap of faith i feel like it's going coinciding excuse me I feel like it's actually coinciding with this tower moment, whatever this tower moment is, okay? For some of you, this tower is just breaking away from people who are sending you negative energy, right? Others, it's breaking away from that shadowy Virgo perfectionist energy and then, you know, falling into that over-analysis, paralysis, confusion kind of energy, breaking away from that. Whatever this going bigger, going grander is, Virgo, it's requiring a, a risk. It's requiring a leap. A gamble. It's requiring a gamble, okay? Underneath that, though, we've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. What did I say? You're being guided. You are being guided. I felt that really strong. It's like, even though you don't have all the pieces, even though it's a little confusing, even though it's a little murky, it's like, I just know I have to go this way. I just know I have to be pulled that way. That's all I know, and I'm just going to keep following it, even though I don't know what's on the other end. Very much that full energy. Uh, so very excited, Virgo. I'm excited to get into this because I feel like by the end of this, the murky energy, the negative energy you're being bombarded with, all that shit is going to be cleared up, okay? But let's go ahead and break down this energy a little bit. Let's break down this energy. Let's look at the Eight of Wands and then we'll look at the Seven of Cups, okay? See what's going on with this. Mm, you know, Legacy is calling me. Legacy is calling me. What about the Eight of Wands for Virgo? Regarding love. Ooh. Tell me about the Eight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love. From now until August 21st. Keep in mind, this could all be vice versa. Tell me about Eight of Wands. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love. From now until August 21st. Eight of Wands for Virgo regarding love from now to August 21st. Talk about Eight of Wands for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Wow. Three of Cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy. Yeah, Virgo, I feel whatever this bigger, grander. Bigger, grander, bigger, grander, no more small time, no more small time. Whatever this expansion is, it is pulling you away from your social circle, okay? Most definitely, it's pulling you away from that room. <laughs> that room that you just can no longer be confined in because you're being guided so strongly, you can't ignore it. You can't, it's like, even if you wanted to, you couldn't. Even if you wanted to, you couldn't. But like I said, there's still some murkiness around there. You don't have all the pieces yet. 
You don't have all the pieces, and some, for some of you, someone is actually jamming your signal. Something about Eight of Wands, which is why Spirit is screaming at you because they know your signal's jammed. That's interesting. Tell me about Eight of Wands. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Virgo. Let's see here. Ooh, wow. Hanged Man, Piscean Energy with the Magician. Mercurial Energy, which is Virgo. And Gemini it could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy. Yeah, it's like taking that pause, the Hanged Man. Taking that spiritual pause. For me as a reader, the Hanged Man is more of an external reach. It's an external reach for information, an external reach uh, to spirit for guidance. Because you you know, that's the thing, Virgo, you know you're being guided. You know. You know. Like, deep in your core, you know. So you know that's where your answers are going to lie to manifest, to make shit happen, to have that bigger, grander, whatever the bigger, grander thing is for you, okay? For some, is this just a path to create a family through options and then ending it with a family situation? Absolutely. For some of you, it can be just as simple as a relationship to level that up, um, all the way to expanding your business. But I do feel like it's about, for most of you, I feel like it is about the collective and just expanding, expanding, expanding. Okay. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Virgo. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Virgo. If there was a third party situation and you know there was, it's over. It's definitely over. Tell me about Eight of Wands for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. But remember, in the end, if I could pick this up, we end with the Two of Pentacles upright. This is the struggle. This is no longer struggling with options, no longer struggling with choices, no longer struggling with your path and what choice you want to make, what moves you want to make. This is that struggle because you're in that spiritual pause of how to manifest it, how to make it happen. Again, yes, this could be vice versa. Some of you guys keep asking me that. Um, let's go ahead and break down the Seven of Cups. And again, this is evaluating your path, what moves to make next, how to invest your time, and then boom, that wall of confusion, boom, the wall of murky energy, boom, that, that wall of just analysis, paralysis, confusion. For some, it is just about looking at your options, okay? So let's take a peek. Can you use Rider Wait to clarify? Then we're going to look at this tower. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. That tower feels hard. It almost feels like a hard hit or a hard fall. Tell me about Seven of Cups. But it, I mean, look what it leads to, though. It leads to exactly what you want, exactly what you need, exactly what you need. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August. Woo! August, woo! <laughs> Sorry, feeling silly today. So we have Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, not making a move until you can clear up this confusion. Yeah, you're not liking that, that wall of murkiness. And Virgo, like I said, for some, it's someone sending you negative energy, jamming your signal, because this is all about you being guided to where to go. You're being guided of where to go. But you got this jam going on for some of you. And you are not going to budge until you can clear it out. That four of pentacles in reverse. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the seven of cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Ooh. Tell me about seven of cups for Virgo regarding love. From now until August 21st. Yeah, some of you are being guided to a relationship, to someone in particular. Yeah, because now we have the Two of Cups out here. Can't Syrian energy. Yeah, clearing up the confusion about a soulmate connection. The murkiness of a soulmate connection. Again, for some of you, not all of you. Some of you, this is purely just expanding your business to become happier, 
making your life grander, better, bigger. Some it's about serving other people. Some it's about taking on human more of a humanitarian role. But in regards to those people who are we're talking about a connection here, yeah, clearing up the confusion about a connection. Also, I'm getting <sighs> confusion of the heart. Like also confusion of what someone feels, what's real and what's not. Clearing up what's real and what's not in a connection. Overall energy, we do have five of pentacles, Taurian energy. Underneath that, the ten of cups, Piscean energy. This is like, <laughs> let me back in. <laughs> Virgo, again, this could be you or someone you're connecting with. Keep in mind, it could be vice versa. But this energy, this confusion that needs to be cleared up, it's like to open the door. Open the door in, for those in this relationship, right? Or in this connection, being guided towards someone, taking that leap of faith to go towards someone. Can't ignore the pull. I can't ignore the pull anymore. I need to open the door. I need to come from outside. I need to go from winter to summer. I need, I, I need to open the door. I need to open the door. I need to open the door and clear up this murkiness and confusion, especially emotional confusion. What's real? What's not real? Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, for those where your signal's getting jammed, it could be an ex of yours that's doing that. Could be an ex of yours that's doing that who might be sending you negative energy. Again, just those who there's negative energy being sent to you. That five of pentacles with the ten man, that negative energy is putting you in that five of pentacles state of mind. No, it's trying to. That's interesting. It's trying to. State of being. Thank you. It's trying to put you in this five of pentacles state of being, of, of not following your guidance, not following the right path. Whoever's sending you this negative energy, because you're supposed to have this 10 Virgo. Look at that. You're supposed to have this 10 of cups. You're supposed to. And for those where there's someone sending you negative energy, they're trying to make this happen for you instead. They're trying to shut the door for you, but they can't. They can't. You're being guided. They can't. They can't do it. Okay. And like I said, for some, this is about opening the door in a relationship again. And I say again, because Five of Pentacles, it's like, feels a little bit like a separation, a loneliness, heavy loneliness feeling. So let's look at this tower. Not like in that tower moment. Does it, like I said, it feels very harsh. It feels very harsh for a tower. Using Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse. For Virgo, tell me about the tower in reverse for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Yeah, Virgo, if you've got haters at work, they want you to fail. They want you to fail. Tell me about tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Virgo. Regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about the tower in reverse. <laughs> wow, judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. This tower falling needs to happen. It needs to. It's inevitable. It's the right thing. It's going to restore balance. It's going to put everything right the way it's supposed to be. The way it's supposed to be. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Whoa. Now we have... Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, Venus and Aquarius to be specific. And then we have the World, Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, and Trolls, Capricorn. And then we also have, ooh, interesting. We've got the Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. I feel like this Four of Cups is at the epitome of this tower. Not being pleased. Not being pleased, but it feels very prolonged. Very prolonged. I'm getting frustration with this. Ooh. Oh, this is why it doesn't feel good. This is a slow build of frustration, unpleasantness, irritation. Virgo, you or who or this other person, whoever's feeling this leading up to this tower, feels like a ticking time bomb of anger, to be honest with you. It's so weird that's coming across as a four of cups. Because that's okay, because that's how it started. Thank you. Wow, man, this is like, this is a good example of how energy can just really turn on itself if you don't deal with it, right? It started as a four of cups energy of just not being very satisfied. Not being very satisfied, not liking what you got, not liking what's in front of you emotionally. But it's like someone didn't deal with those feelings, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with. And it slowly started to build into 
you know, whatever. It, it is what it is, too. You know, I, I really deserve better. Like, I really deserve better. Like, why can't, like, why is that not happening for me? Or why isn't this getting taken care of? To this really needs to get fucking taken care of. Like, you know what I mean? It's like slow progression from emotional dissatisfaction to irritation to aggravation to frustration to anger to bitterness. And then just, ex I, I feel explosion. Oh, God, I like, I don't like that. I'm sorry. I like that was, that was really, that was really intense. And then it's almost like this is after the explosion. After that tension gets released. I feel like whoever was in this energy and then it like builds, 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 builds. Feels like it was a very prolonged building. Um, they didn't speak up about something. They didn't speak up about something when they should have. Yeah, that's how this feels. They were dissatisfied, but it was like, eh, it is what it is. Why say anything? Why say anything? And then, of course, nothing changes because no one said anything. <laughs> it's what happens when you don't say anything, right? And then, oh, I'm not really not liking this. I thought that I thought, you know, I guess I thought I could handle this. Or I guess I thought this would just go away. Wow, this is still an issue. This is still an issue, but I don't know what to say. How do I say? What do I say? What do I deal? Like, how do I deal with this? And then, boom. Wow. And then post tower, we have this energy. Five of swords in reverse in the world. It's been released. I regret. Definitely feeling regret over the explosion here. Yeah, regret over explosion. Wanting forgiveness. But there's still, that's so weird. I'm still feeling a little resentment behind this. Like, well, that's, that's not how it should have gone. I guess that could have gone better, but I it's like someone's realizing they let it happen. Someone's realizing they let it happen. But to start a new cycle, though, starting a new cycle, accepting, okay, this is a pattern. This is someone's pattern. This little explosion energy, this is someone's pattern or someone who doesn't know how to speak up. Learning that they just should speak up. They should just speak up when something's a problem. If you just address it right away, it won't be an explosion. If you just address it right away, it won't be a fight. If you just address it right away, it won't make you insane, right? Someone's realizing that and that's just a new a new change in them, whether that's you or the person you're connecting with. Let's look more at this tower. Wow. Something about the tower in reverse. Something about the tower in reverse for Virgo. Oh, man. Yeah. Tell you about the tower in reverse for Virgo. Regarding love from now until August 21st. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's let's hold these up, guys. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, more Virgo energy. And the King of Wands, Leo energy, could also be fire or air. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Someone feels like they blew it. Someone feels like they blew it. And this King, I definitely feel like, is an energy who has that little problem. He's got a little explosion problem. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting major instability. They feel like they just blew it is what I'm getting with this tower moment. Whatever, Whenever this explosion happened, and for those who haven't experienced it yet, that's the aftermath feeling. I just blew this foundation. I just blew this shit up. I just destroyed this. This ten, ten of Pentacles is not like a small foundation, guys. That's like a long-standing founda foundation that could be a job. So someone could have exploded at their job and then got fired or something of that nature. Um, yeah, e. Someone could have ev even um, caused a rift in a family or in a long-standing relationship or relationship that was on its way to something very long-standing, very long-term. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I am getting a little bit of a lack of confidence with that. I feel like it's with the person who had this issue, who had this issue. Yeah, they feel like they blew an opportunity. They feel like they blew an opportunity. They're, they're, yeah, they're like, oh, the anger got the best of me. The anger got the best of me. But if they had really just said something about what they weren't happy about, it probably would have, could have been prevented. Overall energy, we have the five of pentacles, Taurian energy. More of that energy, guys. More of that energy of being out in the cold, of not having the path open to the Ten of Cups, which by the way is very much deserved. That Ten of Cups is very much deserved. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, for some it's like someone exploded and then they got put out or they lost their job. 
People lost faith in this person. People lost faith in this person. Yeah, it's almost like they felt like they were riding high to the Ten of Pentacles and then boom, down to the five. Hard, yeah, that's why it feels hard. Ugh, hard fall down to the five. <laughs> God, it's like they were rattled too after this. Anyway, guys, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving to the Two of Pentacles and then the Ten of Cups because it was it had to happen. When, the when this tower falls, it's like crash land. <laughs> crash land tower to tower of terror elevator <laughs> hidden that bottom but it opens the door to the 10 it's opening the door to the 10 yeah okay let's look at this 10 of cups and then we'll get some advice here what deck do i want to use let's do steampunk let's do steampunk try out the 10 of cups Try out the Ten of Cups. Keep in mind, guys, like I said, for some of you, this could be an old tower. Others, it hasn't happened yet. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Ooh, guys, and if if your signal's getting jammed, ooh, if you're the one whose signal's getting jammed because someone's sending you negative energy, whatever this negative energy is, I think you you kind of already knew what it was about and you didn't say anything or you felt like you couldn't handle it right and then it kind of eek, kind of kept you in this state. But once you clear up that energy or clear up that argument that you've had, you can get the 10 very easily. Very, very easily, okay? Tell me about the 10 of cups. Tell me about the 10 of cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Woo! Okay, wow, wow, wow. Page of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of cards, guys, a lot of cards. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Jeez. Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Page of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Sun, Leo energy, and the Five of Wands. More of that fighting, volatile, volatile energy. Yeah, going into this Ten of Cups energy is about accepting whatever happened in this tower. Whatever happened in this tower or whatever's going to happen in this tower, accepting that, accepting that, whether it was the other person's issue of exploding Virgo or whether you exploded. Yeah, or whether you exploded or someone was sending you negative energy because they were exploding at you, trying to keep you trapped in this five of pentacles energy or keeping yourself trapped in that five of pentacles energy and learning your lessons about that. Like I can get the 10 if I want it. I just got to change my energy, change how I react to situations, right? And that page of pentacles, hold on, let me hold all these up. That page of pentacles in reverse, the six of swords, knight of cups in reverse, and six of, it's not six, well, that's where I said six of swords in reverse, page of swords in reverse, excuse me, six is right there. This is finding peace of mind, okay? Finding peace of mind, with anyone who's envious, anyone who's who's speaking to you immaturely or your own issues with that, because keep in mind, it could be vice versa. It could be recognizing this within yourself or someone doing this to you, right? Someone doing this to you, being very immature in the way that they show love, show emotion, learning those lessons and making peace with it, making peace with it. And it's being illuminated, the contention that was taking place, right? The irritation, the anger, that was sitting in this, that was the source of this tower moment, whether it was the other person or whether it was you, right? Illumination on that to have acceptance with it and to get to the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Wow, Virgo. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. The wheel is turning forward because this negative person or the negative energy that you've been dealing with, or even just maybe your own. No, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just I'm just the messenger, because for some of you, it is recognizing your own volatile kind of ways or like your ways of not handling certain situations appropriately, like speaking up, speaking up right the moment something is upsetting you, um, getting rid of that shit. Getting rid of that shit, getting away from toxic people who do who may do this to you, um, or getting rid of any negative energy that kind of brings this energy into your life, like jamming your signal, right? Turning the wheel forward. I love it. I love it. Let's see what else we got here. 
Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups for Virgo regarding love from now until August 21st. Okay. Last card, Three of Cups in Reverse, Cancerian Energy. Again, breaking away from toxic people, people who, who have behavior like this of just exploding because they don't know how to communicate, because they don't know how to talk. Um, and Virgo, like I said, you're, I, I can feel it. You are feeling pulled to get away from people like this because you're guided. You're being guided to where you're supposed to go. If this is all about just one relationship, um, it's about moving away from this unpleasantness. Right, I'm also getting overindulgence with this too. Oh, we do have the devil in reverse here. There could be a little overindulgence issues wrapped up in this. Either way, Virgo, it's pulling away from any unpleasant social dynamics that don't serve your highest good, okay? And again, if this is an issue within yourself, I think it does stem from just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Of feeling like, you're, like you can't speak up, feeling like you're not allowed to speak up, feeling like you shouldn't speak up, a little bit of people pleasing, um, if this is an issue you've been having, you're do you're doing away with that. You're doing away with that. Overall energy for the Ten of Cups is the Ten of Cups in reverse underneath that. Justice in reverse, Libra energy, and then Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. Realizing what an injustice this kind of energy is in your life. Again, whether it's coming from yourself, coming from people around you, or an energy that is trying to bombard you to kind of fuck with you. Okay, either way, you're realizing it's an injustice and you're doing away with this volatile, slow, creeping up on you kind of energy, okay? It's lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And if this is about a relationship, this is about working on that issue within yourself, or it could be the other person doing this, to come together, to open that door. Hello. <laughs> hello, Virgo. Or Virgo, hello, to person of Virgo. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? This was intense, guys. This was an intense reading. Oh, any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos? Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. 64 cyclical energy and the swan spirit. Time to, time to take a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. Whoever is learning this issue about themselves it's really about digging deep, exploring the deep, deep depths of ourselves to figure out this issue, why we are people pleasers, why we're not speaking up when we really should be speaking up and really taking action towards that to change that, which is happening, totally happening. This is a whole new way of approaching situations and approaching social situations because that tower stings okay some of you this has already happened like i said and that tower was very painful okay <laughs> very very fucking painful and it's time for a new perspective on things respect yeah respecting yourself to not let other people up like to not let other people run shit not to let other people treat you like that explode on you um but also having enough respect for yourself to say something when something's bothering you right let's see what else we got Any other advice for Virgo? Because when this tower falls, man, whoever exploded, they went from a 10 of pentacles to a five of pentacles. That's a hard ass fall, okay? Could break your tailbone on a fall like that. Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Virgos. Let's see here. Ha! Virgo, this is exactly what I've been talking about. Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. Peacock spirit, let it shine. 46, breaking down to a cyclical energy. And then beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation with the energy of six. This is all about setting those boundaries with people and yourself by being honest, letting it shine. Being honest, being forthright. Hey, I don't like that. You're not going to talk to me like that. You're not going to do me like that. Or if someone's exploding on you, just being like, you can go that way. <laughs> right? Setting those boundaries for yourself and setting those boundaries with people and laying a solid foundation because it's just a healthy thing to do. It's just a healthy thing to do. And like I said, Virgos, a lot of you are looking to expand, right? No small time anymore. The big time, bigger, grander, more, 
more bigger scale, larger scale. You're thinking bigger, you're seeing bigger as well. Very much seeing bigger. Um, Virgo, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with that is um, where this is a relationship, they want to start rebuilding. They want to start rebuilding because they went from the 10 to the 5. Again, hard ass fall and they want back in. But not just to the 10 of pentacles. They want the 10 of cups, Virgo. That's emotional, emotional, happy, uh, emotional happiness. Happiness and emotional fulfillment, right? They want that. They want to do that. It'll take time though. Definitely take time. Overall energy, wow. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. 37 and another cyclical energy. Speaking of guys, we've got mirror numbers here. 46 and 64. Three cyclical energies. This is a whole new way of doing things for you guys and a whole new way of being for you or whoever this is in your life if this is not relating to you directly. But the advice here, the overall advice is to be kind to yourself and to be compassionate to others and to speak your truth when it needs to be spoken. There's no waiting around anymore, Virgo. There's no more people pleasing. And if you want back in with someone, you go ahead and you do what you got to do. You say what you got to say. and You got to pull away from the people you got to pull away from. Be kind to yourself in this time, Virgo, especially for those who are trying to expand like a business or whatnot and that perfectionist energy. I almost feel like the explosion for some of you where it's just you working on a business or a project is you getting frustrated with yourself. OK, don't do that. Don't do that. Baby steps, baby steps with stuff like that. Be kind to yourself and compassionate to others during this time, okay? All right, Virgos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Virgos. Namaste.